So much television, so little time. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top three series to binge this weekend, May 11th, 12th, and 13th, 2018. What the hell are you doing? What are you, what are you doing? Open the door! Open the door! For this list, we're helping you plan your weekend by looking at the most bingeable new content that's popping up on streaming services. Be sure to tune in on Monday for our Mojo Talks discussion about more bingeable television. Number 3. Evil Genius – The True Story of America's Most Diabolical Bank Heist – Netflix I start hearing a beat. His eyes just got real wide. If you were old enough to be following American news in the early 2000s, you'll no doubt remember the bizarre bank robbery that, in retrospect, feels like something out of a Saw movie. I want to play a game. For those of you who don't know the story, the Pizza Bomber was a 2003 bank robbery, where an apparent hostage strapped with a bomb collar was forced to rob a bank and then go on a series of hunts to find the various keys that would free him. And he was supposed to go from point A to point B to point C, where the keys would be given him to release this bomb. Netflix's latest crime docuseries is the definitive coverage of the Pizza Bomber bank robbery, and it goes into detail about the who and the why, not just the what. Anyone interested in twisted crime drama will easily blow through the entire series. It became a diabolical game to them. Number 2. Bill Nye Saves the World Season 3 – Netflix If you would kindly direct your attention to the other obscenely large television monitor, I've prepared a presentation. Always staying relevant, Bill Nye continues his quest to inform and entertain audiences about the importance of the scientific method, as well as relevant social and environmental issues that science can help us solve. Nye brings his over-the-top dad humor to this series, and is utterly unapologetic in how he phrases his opinions and arguments. If you're someone who doesn't like it when shows get political, then you should probably steer clear. But for anyone with an open mind and an interest in how science and engineering can be used to keep our species on the up and up, Bill Nye Saves the World is entertaining and a joy to watch. Still feel bad for mealworms? Well, I have it on good authority they bragged about sleeping with your mummy. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, no. Number one, Cobra Kai, YouTube Red. If you want to get technical, I kick this face. <laughs> I'm just busting your chops. It was an illegal kick. Oh, illegal? Really? Come on, what about that elbow to my knee? Okay, so here's one way out of left field, but trust us, it is awesome. A continuation of the original 1984 film The Karate Kid, Cobra Kai takes place 34 years after the movie's conclusion and follows none other than the movie's antagonist, Johnny Lawrence. When I watch The Karate Kid, I root for The Karate Kid, Johnny Lawrence from the Cobra Kai Dojo. Johnny never recovered from his loss at the 1984 All-Valley Karate Tournament, and we follow him at his lowest point, when he finally decides to get things back on track by reopening the Cobra Kai Karate Dojo. Hey guys, check out this rad internet site, www.cobrakai.com. C-O-M, all lowercase. The premise sounds a little silly on paper, but trust us, this show is a fascinating take on a typical anti-hero. And with lead actor William Zabka and the original Karate Kid actor Ralph Macchio reprising their roles, this show goes to some strange, yet wonderful places. Don't forget to tune in to our Mojo Talks channel on Monday for our recap of the good, the bad, and the ugly of this weekend's binging. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.